Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, this is going to be a walking stick build. So I don't know if you can see this because I've got no screen to see whether this is in frame. But this is a hoe handle, which I'm going to make a sort of heavy duty walking stick out of. And I've made one of these before, so this will be different to the last one. The last one was the full length, more like a walking cane. This one's actually going to be cut off around about here. So it'll be actual walking stick size. So you know, up to about your hip sort of size. Um, a metal ferrule at this end. This end will be rounded over and maybe shaped underneath, but definitely shaped at the top. So it's got a sort of stop for your hand. Possibly a lanyard hole. And I want to do a spiral pattern on this. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing. And if I didn't mention, this is a solid beach hoe handle. I bought it from Amazon, English Amazon, and it was around about 12 quid, I think. So really good for a really nice solid um, hoe handle like this. This one's completely straight as well, which the other one I bought wasn't. And also, this is the biggest one you can get. So if you wanted to get a hoe handle like this, but thinner, you can actually do that, and it would actually cost you less. Right, got a nice bit left over there. So I think I'm probably going to have about a one inch steel or some kind of metal ferrule down the end. <laughs> collar down the end just to strengthen that up stops it rotting splitting stuff like that down this end um, this will all be rounded over so we're not going to want to go anywhere near up here but I may even round this over and sort of bring it out a bit you know more like a ball I'm not too fussed about that at the minute that I will decide afterwards so where am i going to do the i wonder if i do the spiral from about here let's have another hands width there so how well you're going to be able to see this but from here to here is going to be a spiral pattern right so what i'm doing i'm going to let the tape just naturally wrap around where it feels like it should if that makes sense just so it's always flat and this will this should do the the pattern reasonably well it's not going to be perfect but you know, i'm not too fussed by that so now what i can start doing with a round rough rasp file i'm going to start where this line is here and basically just start filing around, following the tape. So that's the first initial line. I can now take a bigger file and start making that bigger. I could probably take this tape off now if I wanted to. I'm not going to go this side of the tape because if I do, the gaps won't be even anyway. So I think that will do. I don't need the two lines, I don't think. We'll see what happens. This a bit bigger, using a rasp file this time. So. following the line <laughs> right getting there let's see how well you can see this so what I need to do now 
So if you felt confident enough, you probably could have just done that groove straight away with the bigger rasp, but it'd be harder to follow the line with the bigger one. It's easier to follow the small one first, and then you can follow the bigger one in the smaller channel. I need to make this a little bit bigger now, so I'm going to go over it again, and then I'm going to try, start trying to sort of curl over these edges that are flat. I don't know how I'm going to do that, probably sandpaper. <laughs> Right, that's the stick starting to get its shape. To be honest, that's pretty much as much I'm going to do for that, I think. Um, that doesn't need any more doing on there. I may refine it a little bit with some sandpaper. So what I'm going to start doing now is working on the top, rounding this top over, which I'll just do with a rasp and then maybe a little belt sander. But you don't really even need to belt the belt sander. Could use an angle grinder if you wanted to, with a flat wheel on it. <laughs> So I've already hammered this collar on because I wanted to test it. I wasn't sure whether I even wanted this collar. It's a little bit too big. I wanted to recess a collar, but I don't have anything I can do that with. I would recommend getting a collar that's as thick as the wood rather than fits over it. But it doesn't matter. This will do for now. And I could always take this off and redo it at a later date if I want to. So now I'm going to cut this off and then get the paint off put two screws in and then that's the collar on and then this can just be it all this would need then is the lanyard holes and finishing <laughs> Put a screw in this now. Right, I've decided I'm not going to do a lanyard down this end, but I do want one up this end, and I reckon the hole should be around about there. Yeah, that actually sits really nicely on the um, the grain sort of thing. There it is. I'll finish off the build indoors because i finished this last night and you know i don't really need to go back into the shed yeah i'm really happy with that for the time that took to make and the cost it took to build 
but yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So this whole build probably took three hours, and that was with filming, so it'd probably take less than that. So it's quite a basic build, very quick to do. All you basically need is the hoe handle, some very simple tools, and some kind of metal collar. Now I just had this. You could there's plenty of pipes that would fit this, or you could even buy a little bit of metal off of eBay. It wouldn't cost you more than three quid probably if you had to even buy that piece of metal for the end. Yeah, I think that's really good for what it is. Also, if you do want to make this and you don't like the look of the size of that hoe handle, because this is the biggest hoe handle you could get, so it's quite thick, you can get a hoe handle of this exact same shape, but thinner basically. So you don't need to go this sort of heavy duty version, but I wanted to have a really beastly um, walking stick. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a lanyard on and I might do a little video of me walking up the path with it and then I'll do some pictures. Yeah, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it helpful and I hope you can make your own because it is very simple. There's not a lot involved in these as you can see. Alright, so don't forget to watch the rest of the video and as I say, I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.